There's a voice inside of each of us, and we all have it. It's the voice of you talking to you, but there's also the breath that comes out of us. Did you know that within each exchange of an inhale and exhale, the human body distributes oxygen into the bloodstream and eliminates toxins? Just now, you breathed. And you didn't have to regulate the process of breathing, which is to say even the fact that we are breathing without effort is a miraculous gift in itself. Did you know that within each exchange of an inhale and exhale, someone suffers from a panic attack? And that someone is you. You know how fear can be so intense that you feel like you're going to die. Your heart races, your pulse pounds, you skip a few breaths and you struggle to even breathe. Do you mean to tell me this panic is a facade? We both know it's not a facade. These slings and arrows of incriminating doubts, they wage war against a sea of troubles in my mind. But what if I destroy the buoy of unbelief? My doubt will drown in forgetfulness. My faith will hold a funeral for my fears and they will be no more. And in the end, I'll be standing with a bouquet of courage connected to the vine of life. Don't you think faith is far too dangerous? Why don't you go where it's safe, where it's predictable, where you'll know the outcome and have no reason to fear? What if you I fail, fail but what if I flourish? What if I find that freedom is found in the territory of trust and not in this prison of panic? I'm just trying to be the voice of reason and save you of embarrassment. Who's to say fear won't come back and paralyze you like it always does? Fear may be present, but fear will not be permanent. So let it come. And when it does, I will continue mastering the art of crucifying those fears and all of their foes back you to the grave. You do realize in this world you have to keep up and produce results or you'll become insignificant. I was never called to carry the weight of results. I was only called to rest in the resurrection of the one who produces results. And when my heart tugs between the war of work and rest, he reminds me that this life matters even if it produces nothing but breath. Well, if you don't work, who will? God will. God will move the mountains when my wingspan is not wide enough to reach the distance. Yeah, but God will sing a melody when my breath has grown too weak and weary to even hum a hallelujah. So I've resolved. I will turn to the God who will lift my arms when my surrender has lost its steady. He is my anchor and he is my answer. Have you calculated the risk? Have you really thought about this? Because what if you lose everything you've worked for? What if he is worth more than everything I'm afraid of losing? If you at least control what's in your hands, you'll know how the story ends. And if I never release, I will never find rest. My heart knows everything is going to be okay. I'm not some half-thought character penned into an unfinished fictional tale. Don't forget the past. Remember the pain. Believe in the promise. Say no. Say yes. This journey of trust is one worth embarking on. And though at times I feel the urge to snatch the pen from his hands, I choose to agree that the author of my life is writing beauty that I could never have dreamed of. He's crafting together miracles in every chapter of this story. So I will rest knowing that he will take care of the rest. Because connected to him like skin on bones, his DNA intertwined into mine is where I find that all my dilemmas are turned into the divine. So I will breathe and I will rest. Oh, I will rest. I will rest. I will rest.